when you, when you uh, see when you see images like that or footages like that mm -hmm. it's really scary sometimes. really truly scary and you know like they say when when such things happen it's not the rain that's really the problem mm. or the flood itself that exactly. you know gets people mm. uh, f you know washed off uh, well that's it on the news update but before we go to solomon for sports we have on the phone aneke emmanuel he's a national secretary of the national association of resident doctors good morning and thanks for joining us good morning uh, well it's a no-brainer to ask what led to the strike in the first place we know that you have a long list of demands from government uh, that uh, according to you government has not met over the years uh, but uh, what what assurances did you get from government now that you've suspended your strike do you want to give us some of the promises that you got from government uh, that give you confidence to call off the strike? Um, thank you for the question. Actually, during, during the process of the strike, we, we had a series of meetings with the government officials. And uh, in some of the meetings, we didn't reach much agreement. However, within the last one week, we met them several, and we felt that uh, they've shown, shown some commitment and uh, the shortfalls, some part of it have been paid. And we hope that before the week runs out, that aspect will be completed. Other aspects of the demands that we presented to them are also receiving urgent attention. So being human and also being aware of the type of work we do, and because of the interest of the patients and the Nigerian populace at heart, we decided to suspend the strike action to give the government the benefit of the doubt that they will complete the other terms signed in the memorandum of terms of settlement. Okay. Uh, uh, before we go into the issue of uh, the, the patriotism and the oath of of your office to protect mm -hmm. lives first let's let's still have let's still stand on the agreement between you and government can you be a little more specific, specific. so we nigerians will get to know uh, what was the demand spe uh, precisely and you talked about government paying some and then mm -hmm. in the next one week pay what have they paid and what is left for them to pay and when are they paying so we get to know actually part of the this is point demand that we presented to the government was the issue of uh, secularization of house officers entry point. Then our enrollment into the IPPIS payment platform, the issue of putting us back into the contributory pension scheme, the reversal of the selective implementation of no work, no pay rule on resident doctors, payment of our salary shortfalls from 2016 to August this year, then also payment of the salary owed our members in the state university teaching hospitals. So, out of all those six demands, the federal government they have pro produced, they have promised to look into the paperwork as it concerns the declaration of the house officers' entry point and um, the reversing of the putting us back into the contributory pension scheme. Mm. Then, concerning the salaries that we have been owed from last year, they've raised um, some centers have actually been paid their salary shortfalls, while authority to incur expenditure has also been raised for some, cent from, for some other centers. That's why I say that some other centers have been paid, while others are expecting to be paid within this week. So having promised to look into all this, or having, having commenced the implemented, implementation of one of the issues and promising to look into all the other issues, we felt, um, felt it um, necessary to suspend the strike action, then give time for the government to complete the premises while we review in our next meeting. I'm sure the question that will be burning in the minds of Nigerians is how much time are you willing to give uh, government to meet uh, some of these demands? You say that government will pay some uh, more funds by the end of this week. In, in the event that government uh, fails to pay this uh, expected amount, what mm. happens then? We'll keep negotiating with them. However, we, we hope to review the process, the whole
whole process in our annual general meeting. Okay. Uh, now, uh, training for resident doctors is one of the issues that uh, you actually had on that list of items that you wanted government to look into. Uh, what promises do you have about training? Because that really is very vital for um, resident doctors. Um, right now, we are trying to get a unified template concerning our training. So when it's assented into law, it will now be secularized to all the training institutions, and that will put an end to all the recurrent crises in the health, health sector as it concerns our training. All right. Uh, Dr. Aneke Emmanuel, mm. National Secretary, uh, National Association of Resident Doctors, thank you for talking to us.